just to get an idea of how massive the super galactic center is, like our Earth, we only see one sun. Uh, the super galactic uh, center is said to have three billion suns. So I don't even know where the space comes from, but that's how vast it is. Three billion suns. Um, and this is this is huge. When so when you started your star incarnations, you left source. Here you are as an individual kind of consciousness, still a fractal of source, though, but starting on this journey um, and having Pluto here. What it represents is your soul. Your soul makeup is here to be a master alchemist that you came here with this theme of mastering transformation and alchemy. You know, that's what I do for a living. I I'm a medical intuitive and healer. Beautiful. Yeah. So that's no coincidence. No, of course not. But no. this is pretty cool. It is, isn't it? And to take it one step further, there is this major theme of mastering, uh, like the art of relationships and behaviors and how um, the behaviors work and how people think. And then you come in and almost like collect the data and are able to help them process and transform limitations into empowerment. So you have this really strong theme here. Clearly, just from when I opened up your chart, the first thing that I that jumped out at me was you came here to heal others. And that's your sole mission. So if you're already doing that, you're you are on track you're fulfilling your soul purpose um because this is what it is that i can see um with these galactic points they're really closely linked to to divine source so this tells me that you're a person that gets a lot of instant downloads um cosmic downloads and that you're probably ahead of others when you receive these downloads usually like six to nine months you might start receiving information about our collective consciousness before it happens um and then six to nine months later or a set, certain amount of time later what you were receiving starts to play out so what i recommend um if you have or haven't noticed this either way maybe start to keep track of of the downloads or the instant visions or you know just like lightning bolt ideas coming through your mind um, because those are probably the clues you're receiving of how you're supposed to help the collective or what's coming up because you're receiving the information before other people are. So people with these strong galactic center points, um, this is kind of how we all function. We start to get these downloads before the mainstream does. So I'm curious to know, have you seen this reflected in your life at all? Um, 24 seven. It's, it's all the time. Yes. <laughs> Another thing I want to say about Pluto and the super galactic center here, because it is that really tight conjunction is that um, there is a strong connection to the law of attraction. I don't know if it, that's something you work with or you follow, but it's like the law of attraction can work a little more snappy for you. Things can turn around much more quicker because you have this big gravitational force, like, you know, right behind your back, basically. You're, so things gravitate towards these huge points in our galaxy. So the law of attraction, when you really put it into practice, it should magnetize towards you a lot quicker. And even people might magnetize to you too, in certain situations. Like you might think something one day and then the very next day or hours later, it might show up right at your doorstep kind of thing. That's true. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. So th this is, yeah, this is, I guess, the, uh, the cosmic energy behind all that, that you're experiencing. Cool. Placement is all in house 11 for you. Okay. Now house 11 is, uh, found is is representing groups friends uh often linked to being a humanitarian uh ho your hopes your wishes the future your dreams of the future and and even technology 
So when Pluto is in house 11, it really likes to transform. And the key word that was jumping out at me was restore. You really like to restore things to their natural balance or their, their divine essence. So when this energy is in the 11th house, it's telling me that you are definitely here to bring this to, to the public because we're talking about groups, we're talking about friends, we're talking about technology and being a humanitarian. So this energy is, sorry, go ahead. I was, I'm building an app right now. It, it's a transformative healing app. Um, so yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is so, I got goosebumps everywhere. I yeah. love that. Yeah. So and one of the places it will, so the first, so my background is um, I used to be a, a, a biochemist um, at a university. Okay. And so chemistry is my thing, huge thing. Um, and so I've taken science and metaphysics um, and the law of attraction to help people heal whatever it is they want to heal. It doesn't matter. That, that's like after this, I'm about to go to my office and, and do that. And so over 25 years, I've been paying attention to making a system out of the way people are healed. Like what is it that's the same every single time mm -hmm. so that it can be released instead of just one-on-one, -on -one, it can be released to the public. And one of the first places one of the places I will be offering this to is, is, is the military because soldiers have issues. Um, so, and, and the general public as well. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. I don't know how this is, this is probably, this is explaining the feelings I had when I looked at your chart. Um, it was, it was literally like the energy was making my hair flow back. Like it, it was this powerful <laughs> when I was looking cool. at the start, like this is a lot. So, so you creating this app is, um, is so exactly this, what is what you were born with? Like, I don't even know how else to communicate it, but you are the living example of it. So this is, <laughs> cool. this is just blowing my mind to hear now the actual person telling me. So, so thank <laughs> you. So amazing. I'm really uh, grateful for, for people like you doing, doing this kind of work. It's, it's so important. So thank you. <sighs> so explaining it to us. <laughs> my pleasure. <laughs> I'm grateful for that too. So it's amazing, though, um, how how we can really connect these pieces together, um, because your Pluto is in Libra and you're really working with the people to help them deepen their relationship with themselves, with others to really heal. And, and the Pluto Pluto in Libra suggests like that there is this need to relate to people that you, you as this person, as this soul makeup, you actually need to do this with people. You need the, these relationships because someone could have this placement, but maybe it's not in Libra. It could be in, in cancer or it can be in the fourth house, not the 11th. So then the dynamic really changes. It's not so much a, an outer expression and they're maybe bringing it in just to their family or keeping it really um, low key. And this it looks a lot different. So yeah. you just know, to give when, you an example. Yeah. When I was in the laboratory, um, I wasn't working with people. I was just contributing to this massive amount of data that nobody even knows about anyways. And it was making me sick. Mm -hmm. So I actually had to leave the laboratory and start working with people one-on-one -on -one to not be sick yeah wow so your soul was making you feel <laughs> sick so you knew like this is there's a friction there's a disharmonious energy here you're kind of doing what you're supposed to but not really so let's make you feel really uncomfortable so you can find a new way yep that was it that's beautiful I mean so, like I say it's beautiful because some we feel this uncomfortableness in order to experience a more full expression. So that's really amazing that you, you honored that and listened instead of just keep doing what you're doing. Cause that's what a lot of people choose to just stay in something cause they're already in it. <laughs> so this is that transforming power of Pluto. 
Pluto also naturally rules the eighth house, which is a house of transformation. So it's saying, again, you're here to transform. Everywhere I looked, it was very repetitive. <laughs> so then I looked at your eighth house. Okay, Pluto naturally rules the eighth house. So let's see what's in your eighth house. And in your eighth house was so fascinating. It You find the planet Saturn sitting there. Now, when we look to help someone find their soul mission and purpose, we look at Saturn to find clues. So Saturn <laughs> is pointing back to Pluto saying, oh, you're here to transform. So there's a little bit of this ping pong match going on. But Saturn is holding strong in the eighth house saying you are here to transform. And how we know that is because it's trining the super galactic center and trining Aquila. And that is also mirrored in your Pluto. Pluto is conjunct super galactic center and Saturn is trining it. Pluto is trining Aquila and so is your Saturn. So it's very, very strong that this is what you're doing in this lifetime. Um, so as we talked about, the super galactic center is this close link to divine consciousness and helping people to transform in their behavior, in their relationships, to help them manifest using the law of attraction to really help get out of those shadows and work with them, not pretend they were never there, but saying, okay, this is what I'm working with. And now I'm here to transform it. Um, so there it is. And again, Aquila is there. The trine and is that beneficial energy. So when your galactic chart is trining a constellation or a specific star, it doesn't mean you lived there, but it means the energy from there is adding like a blessing into this life. It's helping assist you do your soul mission. So Aquila, just to... Uh, say it one more time is that beautiful eagle it's here to help people understand their resistance and then there was three words that really that really stood out yeah to overcome resistance to understand their potential and then be able to flow with that the ability to flow so resistance potential and flow is that trining energy of aquila God for you was something called a founders originators. So this made a lot of sense to me because there's so many galactic super points in your chart. Now a founders originator is a ancient, an ancient race that would have been part of the seeding for humanity and other star nations so you would have been really close to the beginning of time as a founder you know, it's, it's interesting some of the healing work I do I automatically go back to the first moment when particles were formed to alter a frequency there it, that's only happened a couple of times but I'm very comfortable with it mm. yeah and also mm -hmm. when I was a biochemist looking at the origin of life, um, it was easy for me to look at the data and go, oh, the, the origin of life on earth was probably like from some bacteria on an asteroid from um, another system that would have spawned a lot of amino acids. Like we, our sun can't do that, right? But other star systems can build more complex molecules much more easily than ours can. And so, yeah, that all makes sense to me. That's, I love that. I love how you were able to explain that. Uh, that's fascinating for me. With, I call this a, a quantum soul guidance report. Um, so it's very vast and it's you can almost dive into any star and start like tuning into this frequency. Um, what I really like to share is, is beyond all of this, we are connected to everything. So even if you have a star that you don't see in your chart, but for some reason you're automatically drawn there, don't let this of course. stop you because um, yeah, 
this is only a, I, I'm sure it's only a sliver of what we really are. <laughs> you know, it's already a, an expanded version of it, but I'm sure it, there's always more to discover. Yeah. That was amazing. Thank you. So whatever drew you to this overwhelmingly massive undertaking, um, may it be blessed. You, you're amazing at this. <laughs>